All right, in this scene over here, we're going to talk about DNA synthesis, and we're going to make it a ton of fun and very memorable. You may have noticed the sign over here that says DNA synthesis. Now, I didn't make a typo here by putting the 5 and the 3 over here. I did this on purpose to help us remember that the strands grow in the 5 prime to 3 prime direction. That is, nucleotides are added only to the 3 prime end. And that's because this is how DNA polymerases work. They can only add nucleotides to the 3 prime end. Now, we're used to looking at DNA replication like this, a really boring thing that's hard to remember, which is why I've added these elements over here to make it fun and easy to remember. Let's explain what's going on over here. Here we have the top ice racing cars. I call them top because they're always on top of things, and I call them ice because they're made of ice, and they're racing, so they're the top ice racing. Top Ice Racing for Topo Isomerase. The Top Ice Racing cars are over here to make sure that the DNA that was just replicated does not underwind or overwind. I guess you could call them the security guards. And what they do is that they create single or double-stranded breaks in the helix to add or remove supercoils as needed. Again, to deal with underwinding and overwinding. So that's what Topo Isomerases are for. Then we get to the helicopter for Helicase. Actually, the helicopter has this helical staircase coming down from it, which also reminds us of Helicase. What's Helicase for? As you can see, Helicase over here, held up by the helicopter, is separating the DNA strands. It's unwinding the DNA at the replication fork. This is what Helicase is responsible for. Over here we see DNA polymerase 3. I know that he's 3 because I see the tree. Tree reminds me of 3. So this is DNA polymerase 3. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, DNA polymerase 3 adds nucleotides in the 5' prime to 3' prime direction. And by the way, just something to keep in mind is that it proofreads from a 3' prime to 5' prime direction. And over here we see DNA polymerase's girlfriend. Her name is Primase, because she always promises things. She says, I promise never to leave you. She says, I promise I will never leave you. So promise for Primase. Why am I saying that she's never going to leave him? Well, we're going to see soon that she actually does leave him. But the point is that she loves him, and she prepares stuff for him. And in the case of DNA replication, she prepares an RNA primer for him. You see, DNA polymerase 3 can't do anything without primase, because primase prepares an RNA primer on which DNA polymerase 3 can initiate replication. Without primase, therefore, DNA polymerase 3 can't do anything. And we're reminded of this RNA primer by this rhino over here. Rhino for RNA, or the RNA primer for DNA polymerase 3 to initiate replication. But then there's this guy over here. He's the guy with the gun. Gun for one. This is DNA polymerase one. Again, gun for one. And he is very angry because he's jealous of DNA polymerase three. DNA polymerase three, as I mentioned, is very close with primase. They're a couple. But as you can see over here, he shot the rhino. In his anger, he shot the rhino. This reminds us that DNA polymerase one is responsible for degrading the RNA primer after DNA polymerase three has already bound to it. And then we see the Lego man. Lego man for ligase. And what are Legos used for? To build things. And that's exactly what ligase does. After DNA polymerase 3 has done its job, ligase comes along to join the Okazaki fragments on the lagging strand. Alright, so that's our scene on DNA replication. I hope you enjoyed. Take care.